Hello, welcome back to my channel. I haven't uploaded in a while because, well, I haven't actually changed a lot or anything really. I still have the same plan system. And um, but I did go ahead and at the start of the year in uh, mid January buy a notebook for my reading journal. I didn't think I would need one, but uh, in the end I did. So I got one, and uh, this is the notebook. It's a thick hardcover book, and um, it comes with an elastic and a pen loop. And um, yeah, that's the cover page, um, just my name. And this one I ripped up from the old uh, reading journal insert that I had. I uh, just put it in there because I didn't want to lose it. I thought it looked nice and I just put it in there. So this is the index page, all the uh, layouts that I've done. And I have two of those. And this is the first spread, it's a daily reading tracker where I just put a dot every time I read one and as you can see I've read a lot this year, a lot more than I anticipated so that's why I did in fact need this book. This is my Goodreads challenge or like uh, the books I want to read this year, it's 23 but I might read more so that's um, why I have a bonus. And those are the did not finish books. Um, I hope it won't be that much, but that's the DNFs this so far. Um, this is my coming soon page where I just note down uh, coming releases that I want to uh, remember. It's um, a uh, two or like four pages spread. And um, it's um, a Dutch door. And uh, yeah, like I said, I just write down the uh, titles and authors and when uh, it releases. And the next is basically the meat of the uh, planner or uh, reading journal, uh, my reading list, where I write down all of the books that I've read uh, in a certain month. Um, I have like a star system where the lowest is actually a so-so mad book and uh, two points is like okay, three points is good, four points is great and uh, I don't, because I, I don't have so many uh, not good books because I just can't, I just don't want to bother with them. I, I'll just do enough of them if they are not at least uh, somewhat uh, readable. And yeah, so this is my system and um, I thought I would have more two star books this year, but uh, so far I haven't. And this is like the post-it is my currently reading so that I remember what I'm uh, reading right now so I can uh, put it in there. Um, I did make a Dutch door for this but I think in, for next year I will uh, put less space for each month because I don't think I'll read that much. So this is my TBR list. Um, it's very simple. I just want uh, stuff that I've uh, that I have and wanted to read for a long time. I just write it down. It's um, also a very simple uh, system. It's read or uh, started or not yet read. It's very very straightforward. And uh, this is my recommended. Uh, if I have a book that was recommended by someone or a video I watched or something, I will just put it in there, the author. And um, yeah, I have two two of those or like three pages and I will just uh, put a cross where I have already acquired the book like in physical form or ebook or something and uh, I will just mark that down so I know that I already have this and I don't have to like go and look for it again. 
and those are my five star and my four star books as you can see this year i on, uh, only had one five star so far and um yeah that's just like i don't anticipate that i will have many but yeah so this is uh, the series tracker that i have from the series that i'm reading it's it's not a many but so that i don't uh, lose track of uh, which ones i've read already This is uh, going to be my Goodreads book stats. Uh, at the end of the year, I get a lot of stats that I will fill in here. Some of those are my own. I'll have to just like count stuff, but that's not so uh, difficult. And um, yeah, uh, under there, I have uh, books that uh, made me laugh and cry and angry and so forth. And uh, during the year i put put uh examples of this on a post-it so that i uh at the end of the year i know which which books i would put there and uh same goes for phase of the year i put down examples of the of the stuff that i will fill in there and it's um my favorite characters and my favorite quotes and world building and uh just it's, it's just fun and the last spread is my overall winner spread uh, it's a book bracket and uh, put two books every month that are like my winners and then they uh, uh, from the four books uh, of two months I use pick two and then uh, again two and then from those four I pick two you basically get the system <laughs> and then in the end I have six where I pick two and from those two I pick the overall winner and I'll write down the title and uh, by the author in the end and that's it basically yes I have a lot of space left in this book uh, so I'll probably use it for a few years um, or at least two or three um, so yeah this is my reading journal I thought I'd uh, show you uh, at the end of this quarter. I haven't got uh, a lot to show in my planner currently because, uh, like I said, I've not changed anything in there actually. I might this year later because uh, I, I already know I will change it since I will start a uh, university again and um so i will need a different system with a study planner maybe a smaller personal planner i don't know yet i haven't decided but uh, that's basically what i'm thinking and uh, i'll probably show this one off so yeah thank you for watching bye